Hello! In this video, we are going to turn this into this. The first thing we do is head over to Lazada and buy ourselves a cheap micrometer. The brick disc will develop a raised lip around the edges, which will prevent you from measuring it with a micrometer. So I printed these pincers with my M3D 3D printer. I had to go through several revisions of the design before I made one which actually fit properly. I'll put a link to the 3D model so that you can print it on your own if you decide to buy the same micrometer. Make sure to line up both edges of the pincers in parallel so that you get consistent readings. Then, zero out the micrometer and we're ready to start measuring. To be honest with you, I did not enjoy my M3D printer until I found a Raspberry Pi, hooked it up and installed OctoPi 3D printing software. More about this in another video. I created the 3D models in SketchUp, which is free and easy to use. First, I modeled the micrometer's prongs. Then, I created the sleeves and hollowed out a hole for the prongs to fit into. Next, just flip it around and make a mirror copy. After that, you'll have to export the model to a format which your 3D printer can import. Here it is in OctoPrint running on my Raspberry Pi. Okay, back to the car. I bought a Haynes model for a Peugeot 308, which is the closest model I could find to my 408. Inside, you'll find the specifications for the minimum thickness of the disc brakes. Now just go right out and measure your brake disc. Make sure to set the pincers flat against the surface of your brakes and measure multiple areas from each brake disc. The rear brake disc was surrounded by a dust tube which made it very difficult to measure. Fortunately, there was a spot right beside the caliper which had enough room for me to insert the micrometer. One last tip I can give you is that if you are measuring in a tight spot and you can't see the screen on the micrometer, just press the zero out button and remove the micrometer. It doesn't matter if you accidentally adjust the micrometer setting. After it's removed, push it all the way till the pincers meet each other. Negate the reading and that's the thickness you measured. That's all for this video. Like and subscribe for more. Bye!